After another stop in Ely Beach, it's time to leave the Whitsundays behind and continue our journey south. We make a short upwind hop to Long Island in anticipation of northerlies forecast for the following day. No such luck though, as we face more upwind sailing to the Newry Islands, where we discover the favourite holiday haunt of Australia's first ever sex symbol of the silver screen. Obligatory shot of Rob pulling up the anchor once again. Hard work is stepping on the bucket. <laughs> and we say goodbye to another stunning anchorage. This anchorage is well worth a visit if you have your northerlies. Rob's telling me I'm off the bottom, so I better go and control the boat a bit more. We're just motor sailing towards the Fitzallen Passage between Whitsunday Island and Hamilton Island in front of us. Get a lot of current here. You'll probably see some swirl in the water. We've got an incoming tide, so the water is actually heading south through all these Whitsunday Islands. We're heading north to Early Beach, so we're going to have a fair bit of uh, tide against us as we make our way up there. Got a current against us, you would have seen those with those eddies that we were dealing with through the past. We're um, a good 1800 with our rims, and we're doing a 3.3 3 knots. <laughs> so we're chugging away. But once we get out past the um, point here at Hamilton, we should have clear water. Should be nice. When we have 9.2 on the nose. but. Hang on, once we turn a little bit to port and go through the main channel, we should pick up some nice wind out there and be enough to get the denny out. Yay! Over here you'll see Dent Island, and Dent Island was one of my favourite places to visit as a child. You'll see in there a little coconut grove in a little valley area on a beautiful picturesque beach. And Bill and Lena Wallace had a coral garden and jewellery making business there. He was a deep sea diver and used to bring up all wonders from the deep. So as a little girl, I used to absolutely love those treasures. But all the jewellery as well, of course, that Lena made. And the floor was a glass floor that they had encased coral and shells and the most amazing things. It was definitely one of those treasure troves that little girls love to go to. Now, I'm not quite sure who owns it, but the rest of the island is actually leased to Denton, uh, sorry, to Hamilton Island, and that is actually the golf course. Everyone says they play golf on Hamilton. Well, no, they don't. They actually play golf on Denton. And we can also see in there uh, Titan Island. Titan Island was actually, well it is a privately owned island, one of the very few privately owned islands and a family lived there, they built their home and they used to commute back and forth on their boat uh, and in actual fact the daughter I knew quite well, she was a musician and used to play at the old village resort um, on a weekly basis, she had a beautiful voice.
We spent a few days in Coral Seas Marina at Airlie Beach, topping up our fresh food and fuel supplies while we waited for the northerly winds to return. You can see the episode about our visit here on the way up the coast at the link on the screen, or you'll find it in the description below. Good morning everyone. We've just been on the fuel dock, all good, fuel in, and we are ready to head south. In actual fact, we've got a better window of weather to head south. We're going to do quite a few days of a run to get down to at least Great Keppel, which will be really lovely. Can't wait to get back to Great Keppel. So hard to be patient when you're wanting to attack and you've got an island right in front of you. The longer we leave it, the better we'll be on the next attack. Apparently. Apparently. That's the theory, anyway. Alright. Going to stand by? Ready? Yep. Attacking. Yes, that is the engine in the background you can hear. We quite often start the motor to help push our heavy catch through the tank. It's so much easier, and after all, we're cruisers, not racers. dilly-dallying around anymore. We have those northerlies and we're going to take the most of it. Today we're going to do just a 45 nautical mile trip down to the Newry Islands. We've never been to the Newries so it's somewhere new for us to show you but also somewhere new for us to discover so we're looking forward to that. And then from the Newries we will head out to Keswick or down to Curlew then through to another set of islands and we're planning on being in GKI, which is Great Keppel Island, by Wednesday next week. So we will be on a march, but you sometimes just got to make miles when you can. Those nice clean decks are no longer clean up the bow, I see. Rob is getting a hell of a lot of mud off the chain and the anchor. Good holding here. At Happy Bay, can't complain about that. Beautiful night's sleep in beautiful calm weather. Thank goodness for decos. Before we put the anchor up, we just popped up the mizzen. We've got no wind. It's easy to get our mizzen up. And we're then set, ready just to get the main up after we motor out. We're heading down Long Island Sound. The sun's just peaked up over the top of the island itself. We've got the incoming tide. We get a, a really strong tidal run through this sound. How strong? Well, we're motoring along at 1600 revs. Through the water, we're doing just 5.7 knots. 
and across the ground we're currently doing nine knots and you can see the amount of swirl there so it certainly is a place that you wouldn't want to try and come through against the tide. We've got a good two knots of current against us. The um, tide is dropping. It's still got another three metres to drop. So we've come in through this shallow pass. We've seen nothing um, under six metres. So with three metres still to drop, it's about a three metre pass for us in the morning to come out of. Current's calmed down a little bit. Not so much tugging on that wheel at the moment. It's just running straight up. Still on the pass. 4.6 boot speed, 4.1 across the ground on the GPS. That's just been pretty adept, which is good. A bit shallow further out, and then it's um, been good gas. 12, 415 rounds. Welcome to Outer Newry. It's not much of a beach, but apparently there's a lovely walk. So after lunch, we may give that a go. It's just north of Mackay and when the tide goes out of Mackay, it goes out. We've got over five metres of difference between low and high tide here. So we'll have to watch the dinghy a bit. And I get pulled into the shallow water. Very nice, very nice. Be even better if the tide was in. <laughs> so it turns out this is the site of a former resort. I can understand why when you look at the outlook straight out the passage there. The story told is that Fred Worcester, the first resort leasee, had a problem window. It just wouldn't fit anywhere. So around 1946, he built this building to fit the window. On calm days, the huts around rocks were collected by rowboat from Outer Newry Island. That's what you call a little bit of lateral thinking. These are the foundations of the uh, Point Cabin. It was the most in-demand accommodation in the old resort, apparently. And a regular visitor was a famous swimmer and uh, movie star called Anna Kellerman. Now, part of her daily routine, was to swim across the channel each day to out of Newry Island, past our dream time there and back. When you consider that these waters are known for crocodiles and even more so in the 1930s and 40s, not to mention marine stingers, obviously she wasn't phased.
This concrete dome roof structure was part of the original resort. Place where they had their buffets, etc. A no doubt fantastic uh, spot for cruisers with their sundowners. Stories of sailing, tall, true, and not. The National Park Walk heads off along the cliff tops to the other side of the island. Well, we're just going to have a look from the lookout. This would have been a pretty cool place to holiday in the 1940s. Pretty amazing even to get here in the 1940s. Resort guests gazed as Rob is now, looking across the sweeping views of the islands and the mainland beyond. This gazebo was built by Fred Worcester between 1946 and 1949, and a thatched roof was torn off in cyclones at least once. Stories tell of Fred Worcester, the first resort leasee, lighting a kerosene lantern here each night as a service to the local mariners. We've got a nice secure bridge in this now. Lots of wind, easterly sort of wind. Uh, nice spot for the night. Just a short stay here for us. We're going to continue our trek south. Tomorrow, probably head as far as Curlew Island. That's a long day. It is, 75 nautical miles. Up nice and early. Again, <laughs> there better be some extra coffee in there for me. You just love the early morning. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> I'll, uh, I never put her on camera until she's had tea or coffee. <laughs> If you're enjoying our videos, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us with YouTube to reach more people. If you also hit the bell button, you'll be notified each time we release a new episode. Come sail with us again soon.